All right, guys, any minute it's coming. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today, I got another Cherokee. <laughs> Woohoo! No, no, not this Cherokee. This is Black Beauty. If you've been following along with the project, you know that I love Black Beauty. Uh, but I'm also building another Jeep, uh, another Jeep XJ. It's going to be an off-road XJ and it's gonna be for the beach. Uh, that's the whole reason why I started the channel was to have a beach Jeep to take my family out on the beach um, and enjoy our day as a family. Um, you also know that XJs seat five people, and <laughs> if you've been following along with the channel, you'll know that we just found out that we're having another baby. Um, it's a boy though, so hey, all right, I did it. Um, so yeah, we're going to have four kids, and that makes a Jeep Cherokee project for my family <laughs> a completely moot point. So uh, uh, that was a really tough pill to swallow. I thought long and hard on how to uh, redesign my project. I came to the conclusion that I needed a two-door Cherokee to use as a sort of parts vehicle or a donor vehicle. And I got it. It's right over there, but I'm not going to show you just yet. I just want to thank you guys for all the support uh, over the last year. You guys have been awesome. Uh, it's the reason why I keep doing it, because I get such great feedback from you guys. Uh, you're really digging the projects, and I enjoy talking to you guys. I enjoy answering your questions on emails and in the comments below. Uh, it's been a great year, and this year is going to be even better because now I know I can finish my beach jeep. <laughs> Again, I, I really appreciate it. So without further ado, let me show you the parts car to beach jeep. Here it is. Ah! <laughs> we got my two-door Cherokee XJ. Now, before we get too excited, it does have a front-end collision. Now, it's exactly what I needed because I'm going to cut this up. And um, I know I could fix this. Man, I could fix this in a weekend. Um, Bleepin' Jeep has a great video. Tyler, he uh, cuts out the... Um, unibody, he drills out the spot welds, he gets another uh, interior piece, uh, another engine bay piece, and he just re-welds it in, and then he fixes his Comanche. And oddly enough, this stuff hasn't changed in 20 years, from 84 to, to whatever, <laughs> the unibody's the same. So I can fix this. Um, I've done it before. Um, the only thing is, this is a salvaged vehicle now. I, was, I bought it from a salvage auction. Uh, believe it or not, <laughs> it cost $625. Um, it was a little more than that with the uh, shipping and all the auction fees. I don't want to get into that. But um, yeah, $625. I got an excellent parts car. Um, I have no regrets. <laughs> I, this is exactly what I want to do with it. I want to cut this up to make my project. Um, this body is solid. Let's, let's check out this body. And da -da -da -da. So there we go. We got our two doors, nice straight lines. Pretty straight. Beautiful rear quarters, nice long luxurious back. And again the front, which is uh, of no consequence. Let's see, check out underneath, man. This is rust free. This is gorgeous under here. So gorgeous. This was such an optioned two door. It's very hard to find two doors with such good options. Uh, it's even got premium wheels. Uh, these are the Echo wheels. Um, what else does this thing have? Look at this inside. We have power windows. Uh, we got a five speed, guys. 
Now, let me know if you want to see me build beach jeep with the five-speed manual instead of the automatic. Look at this. This two-door even has cruise control. <laughs> this is hooked up. No overhead console. I'm not sure they had overhead consoles on two doors. But here's another cool part. <laughs> the two-door seats fold forward like that. That is cool. <laughs> this car is pretty filthy. Pretty, pretty filthy. I think the previous owner was a chain cigar smoker. <laughs> this ribbon's all over. Look at that. Look at that. That's great. And again, man, this body is so clean. There's no rust whatsoever. We got a nice tow hitch. Look under here, man. <laughs> it is so clean. So clean under here. What kind of rear is this? I think this is a Chrysler 8 and a quarter. I'm not sure the gear ratio. I'm gonna have to look that up. So clean. Not too rusty. There's <laughs> no rust at all, man. This is the best part. Look at the rockers. These rockers are mint. They're mint. It is almost impossible to find a Cherokee this clean. And this was bought sight unseen on a salvage auction. I mean, I really took a gamble. I found this about two months ago and uh, somebody outbid me on it. And I guess they didn't pay because about a month later it was relisted again as a salvage auction. So I put the same price down as the winning bid from the last auction and uh, you know, said a couple prayers and <laughs> sure enough I woke up the next morning and I had won the bid. This is the old the scratch on the door. It's not too bad. But I can't believe it. This has got everything I need and more to complete my beach Jeep project. So yeah, we got a 1999 Jeep Cherokee XJ two-door sport. Uh, it is rear-wheel drive, manual five-speed. We got the premium Echo wheels. We got the privacy glass. It's got one, <laughs> one rain guard. Oh, I'm locked out. I guess the door locks work, that's cool. Uh, looks like the previous owner did a paint job to the roof. I guess he masked off both sides and tried to eliminate some of that classic roof rust. Hey, there's the auction number. And yeah, not too bad. That's of no consequence to me. Everything's probably gonna get painted when I do my work. But man, this is just so cool. All right, let's check under the hood first since it's, it's broken. It's a jar already. Check out some of this damage. All right, guys, here we go. We have a classic 4.0 in line six. Um, this engine bay looks completely unlisted. Um, I guess this thing is pretty fairly maintained. Um, it's very dirty, <laughs> but no problem, no problem. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, it's got the classic... Uh, Valve cover leak, leaky gasket. Um, huh. Coolant reservoir has a little uh, coolant left in it. I figured because because of the front end accident, this radiator was punched in by the fan, so I could imagine all the coolant leaked out. But uh, we got a battery from 2014. Uh, <laughs> cruise control also. I mean, this is pretty solid car, and again, no rust anywhere. No rust anywhere. What a shame this was in an accident. I could only imagine that since the tires were bald, the previous owner pulled up to an intersection. Uh, maybe it was raining out. Maybe he couldn't see uh, from all the cigar smoke. But uh, because of the bald tires, I'm guessing it locked up the brakes, maybe slid through the intersection, and uh, came into a car going sideways in front of him. Now it looks like... Another vehicle kind of clipped right here, rubbed up against this bumper end and continued to rub against the bumper. And as the car, as the Jeep moved forward and the other vehicle continued towards the passenger side, that it kind of 
ripped this part of the vehicle off. Now this corner looks looks peeled out this way and it doesn't look punch in, which is really good. It definitely preserved a lot of stuff in here. Now like I said, uh, Tyler from Bleepin' Jeep, he had removed this whole piece of unibody and just replaced it with another piece of unibody. I think he replaced a Comanche quarter panel with a Cherokee quarter panel. That's how similar they are. Uh, these things didn't change. It's amazing. All right, let's get under here and take a look at the front end. So, <laughs> you'll notice there's something missing. <laughs> we got no pumpkin. This had no front diff because it's two-wheel drive, and, uh, well, they didn't need them. So, uh, yeah, everything looks maintained under here. Um, let's see. Everything is stock, completely stock front end. And, again, no rust at all. <laughs> hey, my new Cherokee even comes with a free used Band-Aid. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, let's check out this undercarriage. Look at this thing, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is immaculate. Rust-free frame rails, rust-free rockers, rust-free doors. So sweet. All right. Looks like we got a little leakage under here. I, I bet it's from a leaky rear main seal. Of course, classic 4.0 uh, problems. Leaky rear main, but here we got the manual transmission and there's no transfer case. It's just an output shaft to a drive shaft. And that's, uh, that's the two wheel drive. Uh, looks like we got a new muffler, so that's cool. I'm gonna be re reusing this. Really nice. Look at the look at the transmission support bracket. It's it's like brand new under here. I still can't get over how incredibly rust free this is. This is just it's miraculously rust free. You Southern guys, man. I said it before. I'll say it again. <laughs> you don't know what it's like to suffer and wallow in the rust up here. Oh boy, look at that. That is clean. All right, let's get a better look at our interior. All right, so right off the bat, we have our manual transmission shifter. There we go. And uh, <laughs> no transfer case, just an ashtray. <laughs> it's just so filthy in here. It smells like the cross between an ashtray and a <laughs> humidor. I don't know if that's dirt or ash, but uh, <laughs> woo. Good thing we're taking apart the interior. Um, yeah, look at this. Stock radio, no fog lights, no big deal. Um, this XJ has a key button to remove the key. Press that button. Now, I don't know if that's a manual thing or just certain options. I guess it's for manual. You gotta push the button to get the key out. It's got the, uh, the better better dash cluster better gauge cluster um speedometer it has actual gauges it doesn't have those warning lights and uh, you know the headliner is not even sagging sagging here we go more dirty seats we got some junk in there but it's got stock xj floor mats when was the last time you guys seen factory floor mats in an xj Albeit they're very dirty, but <laughs> they're there. That's so cool. It's like a time capsule, this thing. It's like all original. Everything's there. Oh, there is no door handle to grab. It's all right. I'll get used to that. Let's see. All right. Let's test out the door handles. Door locks. There we go. Test up the door locks, there we go. Hey, the hatch works too. The hatch latch does not seize up. <laughs> That's a gem all to itself. And here we go. Here is the black interior trim that I mentioned before. This is what I need for my, uh, my project XJ, my beach Jeep. And look at that guys, the back seat has cup holders on each side. That's so cool. That is gonna come in handy with my kids and my new XJ, my new beach Jeep. And we even have the parts that were removed in the accident. We got the passenger side wheel well lining. 
we have the painted trim we got uh, the door trim that could stay off and hey look at this guys <laughs> how funny is that just like I said before I have yet to find an intact trim piece on the bottom here <laughs> oh boy I love XJ's oh here you go we got tow wiring too tow wiring spare man this thing's awesome really really nice tight two door it is such a shame it was wrecked such a shame let's take a look over here Oop. all right we got some rubbing over there that's common from accidents the fender gets pushed into the door doesn't let you open it uh look at this this is cool hey we got service records that's cool i'll have to go through some of this paperwork see how uh tip top this jeep is we got the uh owner's manual man this thing is so cool what a shame it was right hey look walmart bottom well hey walmart battery Tell me this is the receipt to the battery. All right. <laughs> Lifetime warranty. I'm a battery. I'm holding on to this. Got some AC. Oh, man. I bet this thing's AC worked. Jeez. Too bad the uh, condenser's all smashed up. All the Freon's probably leaked out. What's under here? <laughs> hey. Did we win? <laughs> oh, my gosh. A lot of paperwork down there. Yeah, I'll go through all this. This looks like this all looks like uh, receipts, you know. Um, documentation. <laughs> More cigar wrappers. <laughs> this guy, this guy smoked his face off. It's all good though. He kept a really, uh, really tightly maintained Cherokee. I'll give him credit. Look at all these service records. Yeah, I'll go through that later. <laughs> Got to check the console, you know. Curious. Yeah, some more paperwork. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Boom. Georgia. <laughs> no wonder why it's so clean. This car was from Georgia. And look at that. Florida. It's a southern car. Complete rust free. Southern Bell. Love it. Hey. And an O'Reilly's rewards car. Oh, man. Rust free southern car uh, with maintenance records from a guy who took care of this thing and, and did his own work. That's awesome. And look, look at this. The oil due date just passed. So this thing was even current on its oil. It must have had a fresh oil change when this thing got wrecked. Oh man. It's kind of sad that this Jeep's life is uh, uh, coming to an end so to speak but I will reinvent this XJ and I will put it to good use and it's gonna be awesome when I'm done with it I'm really excited really stoked about this Jeep this is gonna be perfect for exactly what I need perfect yeah Woohoo! <laughs> she starts. That's sick. That's just icing on the cake. I am excited. Woohoo! You know what? I'm really tempted to take this thing for a test drive. I'd love to know how it shifts. I'd love to know how it drives. I'd love to feel the clutch and gauge and all that good stuff about driving vehicles. But I don't want to risk damaging this engine. I know there's no coolant. I know it won't hold coolant. Look, what's left of the coolant has already leaked out on my driveway. So, I think I'm gonna repair this thing just enough so I could drive it and then I'm going to take it all apart. Um, I'm probably going to sell this engine. Uh, it's got 185,000 miles, which isn't bad for the uh, 4.0. Um, I'm going to use a transmission. And uh, yeah, that, that's it, man. This is going to be the perfect parts car for what I need to uh, complete Beach Jeep. 
Now, I'm not gonna tell you my plans just yet. Uh, I'm gonna unveil that after I do a few more uh, measurements and calculations, and I'll break down exactly what I'm gonna do for this thing and Beach Jeep. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's, again, that's such a cool parts car. Um, that's awesome, what a shame. Uh, what a shame. Again, I'm not going to fix it because to sell this thing, to like flip it or wh whatever, um, you have to get a salvage title and that's like a taint on the Cherokee. It's a, it's a black mark. Plus I gotta have to jump through hoops in New York State to get this on the road. I've done it before and I really don't feel like doing it again. And I bought this thing knowing uh, my plan. So uh, I won't feel bad about doing it. Again, it's gonna get cut up a little bit. And uh, yeah, well that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Thanks for watching my fundraiser video and buying my stickers. You guys are the best. I love you. And we're going to get this project underway very soon. So remember to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace. Just kidding.